to another music day. I've got a couple of friends with me. You might recognize my son, Andrew, who's in second grade. And I have one of your favorite friends, Pedro. Andrew has not met Pedro before, so he doesn't know what we do with Pedro. But Andrew, when Pedro comes to our music room, we sing with him. And he's kind of a goofy parrot because most parrots copy what people say, yeah. but not Pedro. Pedro wants you to copy him. Do you think you could do that? Yeah. All right, here we go. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Como estas? Como estas? Muy bien, gracias. Muy bien, gracias. Y usted? Y usted? Now in English. Good day. Good day. How are you? How are you? Very good, thank you. Very good, thank you. And how are you? And how are you? Then, Pedro always has a question for us. And since Pedro speaks Spanish, a lot of my friends at school don't know what he's asking, but I know at your school you speak Spanish. Yeah. So we're going to see if you can help us answer Pedro's question today. Okay. Que tiempo hace hoy, hace hoy, hace hoy. Que tiempo hace hoy, que tiempo. What's the weather like today, like today, like today? What's the weather like today? What's the weather? Andrew, que tiempo hace hoy? Es sol y muy frío. Oh, es sol, that means sun, right? Mm -hmm. Sun. As muy frío, it's very cold. Uh -huh. really cool. What's it like where you are today, boys and girls? All right, the last thing, Andrew, that we do with Pedro is everybody gets to say hello to him. How do you say hello in Spanish? Hola. Hola. And if they use a singing voice to say hello, they get a little fuzzy on their mm. hand. Would you like to try? Yeah. All right. Hola, Andrew. Nice job, Andrew. Great singing voice. Boys and girls, can you say hello to Pedro? Hola, everyone. And then Pedro. He gets his fuzzy. Yeah. And then you know what we have to do? We have to say goodbye to Pedro, Andrew. Bye. How do you say goodbye in Spanish? Adios. Adios. Can we say goodbye? Adios, everyone. Adios, Pedro. And Adios, Andrew. Thanks for helping me. Yeah. I'll see you later. Bye. All right, kindergartners. Now that Andrew and Pedro are gone, let me grab my bucket of instruments because I thought the last thing that might be fun for us to do today is to play our listening game. Now, I know you're probably thinking, how are we going to play the listening game without the music room, Mrs. Brandt? Well, I have some instruments here that I think are going to sound just like the ones we used in the music room and just like you did the other day when you were crawling around like a turtle and hopping like a rabbit in your home, I bet you can find somewhere in your home that you can move around like we do in the listening game. So I have a wood block. I think this is going to sound a lot like the temple blocks I used when I wanted you to walk. Right? And I have my little lollipop drum that I played when I wanted you to sit down. And I even brought home a triangle. Do you remember what you did in the listening game when I played the triangle? Jump, right? So let's see if you can find a spot where you can stand and move around a little bit and play the listening game with me. Are you ready? Find your spot. Here we go.
sit down. You know, I remember when we were in the music classroom, everybody always giggled when I played the drum. Did you giggle when you sat down? Let's try a couple more. <laughs> All right, one more time, kindergartners. I hope you had fun playing the listening game along with me today. I will see you next week for another music lesson. Bye, everyone.